Hey folks, come on here, come on, at your service. Hey folks, well we're here, we're here. Well I'm here, you're there. But together, collectively, we're all here. It's now the 1st of September. <gasps> Ooh, what does that mean exactly? Does that mean that summer is now over? Do the seasons actually recognise dates? And to be honest with you, there's a nip in the air. So, it is slightly getting colder. And I like that, I like that. Don't get me wrong, love the heat, love the sun, love thrusting my flesh to its solar, cancer-ridden rays. The fool that I am. But, once the seasons change and it gets into September, and the winds begin to pick up, and you get that crispness, then you get to October, and you get that real autumnal smell. That, folks, is Halloween. And that's what a lot of us watching this right now are really into. But no, I'm not here to discuss Halloween. I'm here to discuss, well, it's, we've just had a bank holiday. I've been off work for a week and a day. And, well, a week and two days, given the bank holiday as well. And I know I'm going into a shitstorm. Think? Any other way of putting it, it's a shitstorm. It's all changed. The job I've been doing is going to change. The job I'm going to be doing is different again. And we've got to train people and be trained and all done remotely. Ah, oh, it's going to be a complete fucking shit fest. But hey, it is what it is. And also today in the UK, schools are going back. Many, many schools. Schools in Scotland, schools in Ireland. I've already gone back. <laughs> Bit of Ardlo, Han Ardlo Hanlon there, Father Dougal. There's a reason why I'm playing this. It's 25 years since Father Ted hit the screens and became the perennial cult favourite that, that it is. And of course, the Divine Comedies, um, Songs of Love, the main theme. Because schools are going back today officially in England, my daughter doesn't go back till next week. Confusion reigns again. We're still not sure what countries we can travel to or what happens when we come back from those countries. Are we quarantined? Are we whatever? Do we wear masks here? Do we wear masks there? What the hell do we do? The whole world is in absolute upheaval. My voice has gone suddenly almost as craggy as Craggy Island. See what it did there? Drink, feck, ass, nuns. That's what it's all about, folks. Drink, feck. Ass and nuns. Remember that, because whatever life throws at you, who gives a shit? Seriously, who gives a shit? I am totally beyond caring now about anything that happens. My 13 year old goes back to school next week. My 19 year old son for taking a gap year. I keep telling him his entire life's been a fucking gap so far. We'll be going to uni. So, it's all going to be change. Change is one of those things that people dread, don't look forward to. I, myself, am one of those. Oh yes, yes, you know, beneath this fantastically charismatic, over-exuberant exterior, there is a quaking little gnome, terrified of his own shadow. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, we're all in this shit heap together. Let's just try and get along and have some fun whilst we do it. Because at the end of the day, as I keep on saying, what does it matter? What does it really matter? When I fire up that fucking infernal laptop and enter the world of bullshittery and middle management knobshines who stab each other in the back all the time and constantly, you know, try to justify their own existence by sticking their fingers into things that they don't belong, sticking their nose in to change systems that actually work perfectly well. But they're just doing it because they've got nothing else to do and they've got to make a name for themselves. I hate you all! I hate you all. You are twats. This song is not playing for you because you are all bastards. If I reached that level of a grade, it would not change me. I've been at levels of importance and authority <laughs> and I didn't give a shit maybe that's why I'm still at the bottom of the, the shit pile now 
But this is what I'm saying. What does any of that matter? You pursue these changes and these things to make your name, to improve, to streamline, to cut corners, to be more economical. You know, where does it get you in the end? It gets you a lot of people that can't stand you because of the, the tactics that you use. I hate every single one of you in middle management. You're all utter twats. But what you do won't break me because I really don't care. I am, like Bruce Willis, unbreakable. And a really lousy actor, but I do look good in a vest. Um, so, folks, if you have a brick, love it. I love my brick. And always think back to the saga of three mismatched priests on a little craggy Irish island and the adventures that befall them. They always come out of it. Stop this sort of thing. Careful now. <laughs> Mind how you go. Ah, oh, 25 years, Father Ted. And there's been some sadness and some tragedy and losses along the way. But Father Ted and his legacy will never, never die. Never die. And this is what I'm trying to preach to you all on this day. This really shitty most inauspicious of days and yet possibly very fateful for a lot of people <laughs> yeah september the first 2020 what a year folks and we're only like two thirds of the way through it two thirds almost three quarters but yeah something like that it's the start of autumn we've still got you know winter to get through winter of yet more discontent probably only if you allow it to be I preach to you all, whatever cack and manure is held your way, you can't dodge it all, don't even bother trying, it's good for the skin, just nut it back in their direction and give them a resounding one of them, because they're the bastards, let them, if they're happy meddling and doing stuff and changing policy, and I mean globally now, globally. All those wankers out there that seek to change and to dominate and subjugate, if they're happy doing that, let them be happy. I'll let you tell a little secret. They're not happy. That's why they do it. They are not happy in the least. They have fear and dread more than any of us because they, they're trying to make their name. They're trying to change things. And if they don't make it right, they fall flat on their face. And all of a sudden, all those cowpats and ship flying saucers of manure will land upon them and they will wallow in the muck that they created. So endeth the gospel according to Kiltman. And today, my favourite tartan of all time, the ancient Mackenzie. Way, way back, centuries back, my family's part of their family. So, that's quite a rare kilt. So with this echoing in your ears and in your mind, confront the day, whatever time of day it is in, in your time zone. Maybe the end of the day for you, I don't know. But confront the next day with a song in your heart. A twinkle in your eye, a spring in your step. And pack, pack some power in your punch, you know. Because we're the ones, we're the ones, the lower classes. Without us, this world just goes to dust. Top 1%. Happy, really, yeah. When the next pandemic hits, or when Mars does attack, where are you going to go then? No point going to the bases that you've got on Mars because they're already coming after us. Folks, your daily drudge is not the be-all and end-all. 
it is not. It can be if you let it. So the secret is, don't let it. Don't let it change you. Don't let it mess with who you are. If you want to move on and progress, do it with humility. Be humble as well. Look after the people that helped get you there all the time. Because if they put you there, they can take you away from it too. Remember that. Many, many have fallen by the wayside because they, that little essential ingredient they lost from the recipe of their main menu master plan. Not with this sort of thing. <laughs> Folks, as always, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to see you all. Ladies! Um, you know, do tell your friends to subscribe to Killman's channel. Ah, go on. Go on, 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 go on!